we're going everybody. I'm getting in my last minute prunes on these fruit trees here. Uh, if you haven't done yours as well, don't leave it too much longer. As the weather starts to warm up, these plants come to life. This time of the year, what you'll find from late July, early August is new root systems growing out. The fibrous roots start to take off. You can't see that, but you'll notice that as soon as it starts to bud swell, that means the roots are active, the microbes are kicked in, and they're starting to uh, put out the energy for the trees to be able to grow. Now, I'm going to bring this down, like I said last time, to about five foot, six foot. So I'm going to sacrifice some of these top buds because I want to have the open vase. This is another pear tree I've got. And just take a couple more prunes off these ones up here. They're growing straight up. And remember, always clean your secateurs and tools that you use. Metho and water before you start pruning. Otherwise, all you're going to do is cause bacteria to spread if it's a disease and create problems. Now, you need to also spray your trees, whether you're spraying for leaf curl or rust or anything else that can occur on your tree during the growing season, get onto it now, give it an application. We've been talking about the nectarine over there. It's had the bluestone copper sulfate or oxychloride when you mix it with hydrated lime. At the beginning of every month I've been doing it, so we're almost nearing in there. Another 10 more days or so we'll be able to spray that tree again. As far as your pear and apple trees, they need to be protected from codling moth. Uh, apple trees in particular, pear and cherry slug on the pear trees. What you can use on these sort of trees is CGWS as a shield of armour. It's a white powder that we have online. You spray the tree, it turns completely white. It's great for your lemon trees or citrus trees as well. Spray your trees, give them one coat a month. At least you give them that shield of armour. It won't affect the buds as soon as they start to swell and, and burst out into flower. Never spray any tree or any plant when it's in full flower. Other than that, it's also the traps. Now what I've got here is our fruition fruit fly trap. We haven't got fruit fly here. This is a demo that I did a while back and you can see the actual card itself, the sticky card, has been uh, you know, filled in with all these all types of bugs and insects. No bees, thankfully for that, because it doesn't attract the bee. So we're happy about that. You can't get replacements at the moment on lures for the fruition fruit fly. We expect to have something very, very soon. Hopefully by September we should be able to have something online so you can keep the outer housing and just change the card and the lure inside. And on this side here, we've got our apples and a plum tree. Now this apple tree produces an abundance of apples every year, folks. And you can see I've got the trap up here, which is for the codling moth. Now you can keep, if you've already got a codling moth trap, we have got the cards here. These are the replacement sticky cards and the lure inside. Let me show you the one that I've got here. That's the old card there. Have a look at that. And the lure's got even bark and leaves in there, so there's a lot of flies in there. Um, I don't see any moths, but at the end of the day, we're pretty lucky at the end of the day because we had very little effect on our fruit. So you can replace the cart. Why am I putting it back in there? It's, it's destroyed. We've got to replace it. So rather than buying a complete kit, get yourself uh, the replacement card and lure. It's a lot cheaper. It's on our website. Stock up now because they sell so fast, we run out quicker than we can get them in. So if you are using codling moth traps and you got them already, get yourself a card, put it in place. Where's the card sticky? There it is. So that's the sticky side. And ideally what I suggest is to put it in and then pull it off as you go through once it's in. Otherwise you get it all over your fingers. You're nearly gone. There we are. They really are sticky folks and the lure itself, just drop it into the middle and close the side up and that's ready to go. Now that'll last you at least 12 weeks out there. Now I've put it up a little bit early. For those who do have a lot of problems with codling moth, folks, get yourself ready. If you haven't got a trap, get your trap organised. If you've got a trap, get your replacement lures and cards and spray your trees. Now we're going to spray this with CGWS as well as a second precaution uh, of taking action to protect the tree itself as well with all the other trees we've got in the garden. and. Another great tip for you folks, if it's about to rain, if you've got rain predicted coming in the day or the next day or so, like we have here, the clouds are rolling in, get your black grid around the base, get your worm castings, get your compost, get your uh, animal manure, chicken manure, or sheep manure, whatever you like. Keep it natural, keep it organic. Steer away from synthetic fertilizers. They do more damage to the earth and the microbes in the soil than they do in feeding your plants, in, in benefiting your plants. So go into the organic range, natural range as, as possible. Our black grid is certified organic as well. 
well that will help boost and reduce the acidity level and boost the microbes in the soil and give your plants the calcium they need to grow big strong, big, strong and healthy fruit, flowers and vegetables. So enjoy all that. It's on our website, vasilisgarden.com. And again, it's Vic Lockdown again, folks. So we've got our sale running again continuously. Our secret code is secret and you get a bigger discount on top of everything already discounted. And obviously your Blackroot, 65% off all Blackroot, all online. From Eva Silly, Maresi.